It's what blows my mind. <laughs> Honestly, it is an amazing satellite. It's really going to revolutionize how we see water on the planet. And I think that that's really amazing to be on such an awesome project. SWAT is the Surface Water and Ocean Topography Mission. It's a new satellite launched by NASA, our partners at the French Space Agency, and additionally partners in Canada and the UK. From space, it can actually see like what the height of, a of, of water in a river is to about 10 centimeters. And then at the same time, it's seeing images of that so it can tell you where the water is. And this is just a game changer for our ability to understand how much water is flowing through rivers, how much water is stored in lakes and reservoirs, and how ocean circulation works. In order to understand SWAT's capabilities, we really need to collect on the ground data to compare to SWAT. And we're doing that in a number of different locations around the world. The Waimakariri River, it's, it's a braided river in New Zealand. And when I say braided river, right, it means that you have all of these different channels weaving in and out with sand and gravel bars in between. If we're going to um, understand SWAT's capabilities to measure rivers, we don't just want to think about really nice, well-behaved rivers. We also want to think about those sort of poorly behaved problem child rivers. The Waimakariri definitely falls into that category. It's a challenging, interesting, difficult river, and we want to understand how well SWAT can, can measure that kind of river too. The Waimak is a river that has a lot of moods. Some days it's just this beautiful, like, glacial blue water, and it just, like, sparkles. But then sometimes you go out and it's a completely different creature, and the water can turn from beautiful blue to, like, this mean, muddy brown. It's just a wild, unpredictable beast. We're collecting data to compare to the SWAT satellite in a bunch of different ways down here in New Zealand. So the first and maybe the simplest thing that we're doing is we're installing water level loggers. So those can tell us how water level goes up and down and we can compare that to SWAT data. We're also using measurements from a boat. We, we put a fancy GPS on the boat that's gonna be able to tell us uh, the elevation of the water surface as we drive up and down the river. And then the last thing that we're doing, which is really cool, is we have a laser system that gets mounted on a helicopter. It's called a LIDAR. Essentially what it does is it pings lasers from the helicopter off of the land and water surface and measures how long it takes for the light to come back to the sensor. And we can use that to create really detailed topography of not just like the sand and gravel bars and things around the river, but actually of the surface of the water in the river. And that's exactly what we're measuring from SWAT. So we can compare this data that we're collecting from helicopters against uh, the SWAT data as well. Water is everything. <laughs> and so the data that we're collecting here is going to help on so many levels, like not only for tracking how much water is in rivers and being able to track how much we can pull out of them in a sustainable manner, but to also SWAT will track the level in lakes and reservoirs. So that's for resource management is going to be really, really big. It's a lot of trying to track where the water is, and that's such a fundamental resource, especially right now with climate change that's changing very quickly. And so being able to track it on a global scale, especially in places where we don't have gauges, is really important to be able to tell those communities what their water is and how much they have. 